page that we have. This is the section. So we've been given the details. We have house A, we have house B, and then we have director, director A, director one, and director two. And then we have the manual one and manual two. And then we have the site boundaries, main sewer. And then if you can look at our manual here, we have the manual. We have a manual with 150 millimeters thick bed. We have the wall. 12 millimeters thick waterproof plaster, BRC mesh, and then the slab is 100 millimeters thick. And then we have medium duty cover frames, so that is 600 by 450. Then we've been given the internal sizes of the manual. The first one is 800 by 1,000. The second one is 1,200 by 1,500. Then we've been given the schedule for the distance. The distance from manual one, from garage trap one to manual one is 3,000, garage trap two to manual two is 3,000, manual one to manual two is 5,600, manual three to sewer is 5,000. And then as we proceed, we'll see that we've been given some notes here that are going to guide us. We've been told the ground is level, invert at garage trap is 450, all drain pipes, that is 100 millimeters UPVC on, 100 millimeters thick maram bed, and then we have the gradient for the GTIs is, GTIs to manual is one to 60. So guys, this is what we have. And then I want us to look at how we are going to take off those quantities. Now we start with the items that we are going to measure. So items that we are going to measure, we generate them from what we have. So the ground is level. So we are going to start with the manual first. So we are first going to excavate the pits for the manual and then take off all the quantities of the manual. So after we have excavated the pits for the manual one and two, we are going to take off the quantities. We start with the bed up to the slab and then we do soil adjustment. And then from there, we are going to go to the pipes these pipes that are coming from this point, from the gully traps to manual one, from manual one to manual two, from gully trap two to manual two, from manual two to the sewer. So we are going to do the pipe works. And then uh, from there, we are going to allow for connection. So we need to connect these things. And then we are going to do <coughs> testing to ensure that they are working. They are working well before we we allow the sewer to, before we allow the drainage, the real drainage to take place. So we are going to start with the items that we need to mention. So I've briefly gone through them. So that is, we have a list here of what we need to measure. <coughs> so manuals, pit excavation, items that is planking and starting, concrete bed, walling, concrete benching, plastering, concrete slab, manual cover, soil adjustment. Then we come to the pipe. We have trench excavation, maram bed, disposal of water, pipes, extra over for tarmac dam, connection to main sewer, and then we have testing. Now, guys, let's start with the pit excavation. For manual one, we go back here to manual one. We have a length of 800, a size of 800 by a thousand so that is what we have for manual one now and then before we when we go down we have so that is from here up to here 800 by a thousand is internal and then we have this wall and this wall and then we have this projection here which is 150 so we are going to add the internal size we add this walls and then we add the projection for us to get the, the size of pit excavation. Same for manual two. So for manual one, it's going to be 1,000 by 800 by 1,000. And then we add the walls, that is 400. And then we add, that gives us 1,200. And then we add the projection, giving us 1,500 by 1,700. And then for manual two, we have 1,900 by 2,200. And then yeah, if after we've added the walls and the and the projection. Now let's find the depth. We need to excavate the manual. We need to have this depth here from this point up to 
down here. We need to have the depth. Now let's find the depth. For us to be able to find the depth, we've been told the invert at gully traps is 450. So at gully traps, we have a depth of 450. Now from the gully trap, we have a depth of 450. And then the gradient is 1 to, is 1 to 60. So we can be able to find the fall for us to be able to get the depth of manual one. So that one is, we find the fall from gully trap to manual one, that is three times one over 60, that gives us 0 0.05. And then at gully trap one, we've seen we have an invert of 0 0.45. So, and then if we say there's a channel bed, we had the channel bed of 0 0.15, and then there's a concrete bed of 0 0.15, that gives us 0 0.75. So that is what the depth that we need to excavate. So for manual one to manual two, no, the gutty trap one to gutty trap two, they are they are the same. So the depth of manual two is also the same as the depth of manual one. That is 0 0.7, 0 0.75. So we book that one. We have 1.50, 0 1.70, 0 0.75. That is for the first manual, the second we have 1.90, 2.20, 0 0.75, and then we excavate pits to receive manuals not exceeding 1.5, starting from ground level, and then we remove from site. Then we go to item allow for necessary pranking and starting upper sand dewatering. So we must be able to, to protect that team, that excavation. So we have to do timbering. Let's go to the concrete bed. For the concrete bed, <coughs> here is our concrete bed, 150 millimeters thick concrete bed. So it's from here up to here. And it's up to here that we've done our excavation. So you find that the concrete bed, we share the same dimension for with excavation. So the same, same is dimension for excavation is what you're going to use for concrete bed. So that is 1.5 by 1.7. Then we have 1.9 by 2.2. And then we say VRC in one is to three is to six in 100 millimeters concrete bed. So we proceed to walling. So for us to be able to find walling, we need the mini gut. So remember, when we are doing walling, we need the mini gut. So we need, we're going to find the mini gut. So we are going to use the internal dimensions we find for us to find the perimeter and then we less the thickness. So if we tabulate that, we are going to find the mini gut for manual A to be that is 2800 plus 1000 by 2 minus 40, that gives us 4400. And then the height, the height from top here up to the bottom here was 750. So 750, we are going to less this 50. And then we are also going to less this 100 on the top. So whatever remains is from here up to here, that is 500 millimeters. So let's find the mini gut for manual two. We have the internal of 1200 by 1500, that is two into 1200 plus 1500 minus four the thickness, which is four times 200, that gives us 6,200. So, the height of manual two is the same as the height of manual one. So if we book that one, we find is 4.40, 0.5, 6.20, 0.50. Then you say 200 millimeters thick CBC wall in one is three CS mortar. And then we have a benching. This one here, this concrete inside here is benching. So for this benching, we've not been given the thickness, so we can assume 12, 200 millimeters average average benching of that, average height of that benching, and then we book it one, plain concrete, one is to three is to six, in 200 millimeters average height benching for manual one, that is size 800 by 1,000, including finishing with a steel trowel to fall. And then we say upper sand, but upper sand for, For internal sizes, 1200 by 1500 millimeters. And then we go to plastering. So you can see from where the benching ends, upwards we have a 12 millimeters thick 
plastering. From this point, we have a 12 millimeter thick plastering from this point upwards. So our depth was 0 0.5. So what remains for plastering is 0 0.3. So we are going to find the mini gut. So we are going to use this as the internal dimensions for us to be able to find the mini gut. <coughs> so mini gut for for mini gut for manual one is two into eight hundred plus a thousand minus four the thickness, which is twelve and 12 that gives us that 552 then for manual 2 is 2 into 200 plus 1500 minus 48 that gives us 53 52 and then we said the depth is 0 0.5 the total depth minus the depth of benching that gives us 0 0.30 then we say 5.50 0 0.30 5.35 0 0.30 we say 12 millimeter stick plastering on one is to three cement mortar we go to the concrete slab and that is our concrete slab here. We have a concrete slab. So it's from this point up to this point. So it's the internal sizes. We add the, we add the wall for us to get the length and width of the wall. So it's this one plus 400, this one plus 400, this one plus 400, this one plus 400. And then the thickness is 100. So we say 1.2 by 1.4 by 1.6 by 1.90. And then we say V as in one is to two is to four in 100 millimeter stick suspended slab. A percent BRC mesh reference number A142 to British standard. Now, after we book the, the concrete, we are going to go back and deduct this void here. Remember, we need to get, we need to have a void here so that we can create space for the frame, that is for the covers. So we are going to deduct this, this space here, which is 400 by 450. So if we deduct that, and remember it's for two manuals, the size are same. So we are going to have 0 0.65 by 0 0.45 by two. And then we say, deduct, data the last two items and then now uh, once we've deducted that we are going to come back and book for the frame remember the frame are 600 by 450 and there are two say one by two medium duty frame size 650 by 450. now let's proceed to form work form work is for the sofa it is the one that is holding this slab down here so we are going to use the internal dimensions for the edges is the one that is holding the outside of the of the slab so this one is internal this one is external up to the wall for the for the edges <coughs> so we are going to say for the soffit we're going to say 0 0.80 by 1.0 1.20 by 1.50 and then we say it's one timber form one to soffit of suspended slab and then for the edges, it's outside, that is internal plus the wall. So that is 1.2 by 1.5. Remember, there are two sides. Then we have 1.6 for manual 2 by 1.90. Remember also there are two sides. And then we say stone timber to the edges of the of the slab. And then we go to soil adjustment. Now we need to adjust soil here. And then we need to we need to backfill. We need to backfill this area. So this one is 150 millimeters. So we are going to use the external dimension that is here in our walls. So we are going to use this one. That is 1200 by 1400. And then we add for the thickness that is 5800. And the other one is 2 into 1600 plus 1900 plus that is four times 150, that is 600, it gives us 7,600. The depth is from the wall, from here up to here, that was 0 0.50. <coughs> so we book that one, 5.80 by 0 0.15 by 0 0.50, 7 7.6 by 0 0.15 by 0 0.50, and then we see that deduct, remove from site, and then add back fill. Now that we've done, we are done with the excavation of the manuals, let's look at pipe work, those pipes that are going like that. So we are going to start with excavation for the pipes. So we need to find the length of excavation. So we are going to look at GTI 1 to manual 1. 
So this is GTI one and this is Manol one. So we need to find this length. So we've been given from the center is 3000. So we are going to deduct, we had excavated the wall here, is 200, and we have also excavated a projection here of 150 for us to get to the manual. So we need to know from this point up to this point, what is remaining for us to excavate to get to that point. So we are going to less, because it's into the center, we are going to less, here is 1,000. So we are going to less 1,000, that is half manual one. We less the projection and then we less the wall. So the length of that excavation is 2150. Its depth is, we had a depth of, at GTI 1, we had a depth of 0 0.45. And then at Manol 1, we had a depth of 0 0.75. So we add the two and then find the average. And then from there, we add a Maram bed of 0 0.2, and that gives us 0 0.70. So we do the same for GTI 2. Our length was... 3000. Now we are at GTI 2 to manual, to manual 2. So our length here is 1500. So it's up to here. So we are going to deduct our 1500, that is 750. The wall, the wall here is 200, and then the projection here is 1550. So that gives us 2100. We go to manual 1 to manual 3. So the depth is the same as above. So our length was 5,600. We deduct half. So for manual one, to manual two, this is 500 and this is 500. So that is where our 5,600 is, that one. So we are going to deduct 500 to get this point and 750 to get to this point. We deduct the wall here, we deduct the wall here, we deduct projection here, we deduct projection here for us to be able to find this excavation. So that one will give us that 550. And then the depth, the depth at manual one was 0 0.75, at manual two was the same. So average will remain 0 0.75. And then we add a maram bed because all the pipes are on a maram bed. That gives us 0 0.85. <clears throat> From manual two to see what? From manual two to Siwa, we have this is 1500, so this is 750. So from here up to the Siwa is 5000. So we are going to less 750, we less the wall and we less the projection. That gives us that 900. Depth at manual one is 0 0.75. Depth at Siwa, we don't know, but we have a gradient. Remember, one is to six. So you can use that gradient to find the fall. That is 0 0.01, 0 0.08. So we add the two and find the average is 0 0.42. And then we add a bed, we find 0 0.5. So let's excavate those ones. This is for manual one, 2.51, 2. Point, this is the second one, 2.10. This is from gal trap one to manual one, gal trap two to manual two. Manual two, one to manual two, manual two to the C1. Then we excavate trenches to receive pipes depth 1.50, average depth 750. And then on the trenches, we have an extra, we have a 100 millimeters maram bed. So we say upper sand, 100 millimeters thick maram bed to receive the 100 diameter pipe. Now, after we've done the excavation, let's allow, we have a tarmac existing driveway here. So this is a road here. So we need to excavate this one. So it's it's not a normal excavation. Yeah, we, we've taken care of the normal excavation, but you have an extra over for the tarmac dam. So we book that one. So our tarmac dam is six meters long. We say extra over excavation for breaking tarmac dam services. And then we allow for planking and stuttering, upper sand, dewatering. Now let's go to the pipes. Now, once we've done the excavation, we need to find the length of the pipe from GTI 1 to Manol. One. So this length here now, the pipe goes into the wall. So whatever we had was up to, so whatever we had was 3,000 from here up to here. So we'll just less 300, 500, sorry for Manon, for Gary Trap 1, for us to be able to get to the, to the wall here. So we less 500, that one gives us 2,500. For Manon 2, it's 3,000 minus the, the length here, which was 750, 
that gives us 2250 for manual three we are going for manual one to manual two we are going to we are going to less that one here we are going to less 500 and here we are going to less seven 750 for us to get to that point of our of our pipe so that gives us 4350 and for this it will give us 4250 and then we book that one 2.50 2.25 5.35 4.25 and then we say 100 millimeters diameter UPVC pipes laid and joined in trenches. Now let's allow for some for connection. So we allow for a piece VC sum for bringing the ends of the drainage system and connecting to the main sewer to be undertaken by local authorities or it can be undertaken by nominated subcontractors. And then we allow for overheads and profits. Then we allow for a percentage for attendance. So let's do testing. We allow for testing of the whole drainage. That's an item. Drainage works with a water tester. So that brings us to the end of our taking off quantities of the drainage work. So guys, thank you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Thank you very much for your support. Until next time, bye-bye.